Okay, let's talk about the slope and the top three mistakes algebra students make uh, when they're dealing with the slope. And this, uh, unfortunately, really messes up a lot of people's uh, quiz grades, test grades, and just causes them problems. So it's not only uh, uh, algebra, this can be pre-algebra, it could be algebra two, it could be college algebra, it could be any math course. Uh, you got to understand the slope. So if you're a middle high school math uh, student or even a college student, you got to pay attention. If you uh, stick with me through this uh, video, you're going to really understand that these three mistakes, and obviously you want to understand these mistakes so you can avoid them, okay? But uh, through the years, I've just seen so many people make these errors that it just costs them points and points and confusion and frustration. So with that being said, let me first go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed many, many online math classes. I'm going to leave a link to uh, my math program in the description of this video. So if you really want to check out my full, complete math instruction, that's where you'll find it. I've been on YouTube for several, several years and have uh, many math videos on my channel. So if you like my teaching style, you can check out a lot of my stuff there organized in various playlists. But with that being said, let's get into the slope. All right, so before I give you these three specific mistakes, um, let me give you the obvious mistake. All right, this is not gonna be part of the, the top three things I'm gonna talk about. But the first thing is that students just don't even know what's going on. They're confused about what the slope is, okay? They're like, I don't even know what it is, uh, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. So just real quick, I'm not going to explain this, you know, like 100% because I want to get to these mistakes. But the slope, we're what we're talking about in this video is the slope of a line, right? So here's X, here's Y, and you have a line like so. This line has a particular slope, okay? It usually goes by the variable uh, uh, lowercase m. This is the slope of this line, okay? And we use this when we are graphing lines, well, like y equals mx plus b, or finding the equations of lines. It's very, very important. So the first obvious thing, okay, is like you don't even understand what the slope is, right? The definition, right? Uh, which is the rise over the run, et cetera, et cetera. Then there's a formula that goes with that slope. So I'm going to talk about all that uh, in, uh, next here. But the first obvious thing, okay, is students are just generally confused. So if that's you, you got to go back, you know, talk to your teacher, get unconfused. But let's assume, okay, this video is targeted at those of you out there that feel like, no, no, I got a pretty good handle on the slope and I know how to use it and et cetera, et cetera. This, you know, even with those of you that feel like you understand the slope, all right, this is these mistakes that I've seen just over and over. Okay, so let's get right to it. So the first thing is the formula is wrong. The formula is wrong. So students calculating the slope um, and are saying, okay, let's say the problem is calculate the slope or find the slope between uh, a line that runs through these two points. Okay. So a student would be like, okay, the slope formula. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to write the actual slope formula. All right. It's, it's this. Okay. The differences of the y's over the differences of the x's. Okay. So this is basically in algebra how we express rise over the run okay so this is what you should be using but students will be like okay they'll they'll interchange they'll put the x's up on top like so okay so very very common mistake um i've seen this over and over again that they'll put the run over the rise you know and it's easy to make those mistakes because you're like oh yeah where did the x's go do they go in the bottom or do they go and the top, or they're going to the numerator, denominator, etc. So I'll see the student write out a formula like this, and then they'll do all the other math correctly. And they'll plug in the values right, they'll do everything else, and they'll give a nice, perfect, incorrect answer. So the first thing is make sure you're using the right formula, right? This is the right formula. Okay, remember the y's represent the the rise. Okay, the 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 y's when you look on the x and y axis. The rise uh, is the y direction. Now, if you are confused so far about this video, about the slope, then go check out uh, some of my uh, slope um, videos on my channel. Or, you know, if you're just in struggling in math, you know, overall, then you definitely want to check out like my full uh, math instruction. I would suggest like my pre-algebra or algebra one program. But 
anyways, um, and you can find uh, the those courses in the uh, through the link in the description of this video. But first of all, again, this is the formula you should be using, and students will write this down. Very, very, very common mistake. Okay. All right. So formula is wrong. Make sure you have the right formula. Okay. Second thing. Now you might be saying to yourself, "Why well, never made that mistake?" Well, I'm just telling you right now that. Uh, in, through thousands and thousands, years and years and years of, you know, grading papers, seeing what students do, this is a major trend, all right? So even if you don't make these mistakes, it's possible you could, all right? So just pay attention and focus. And let's move on to our second thing, order of points into the formula, okay? The order of points in the formula is wrong. That's what I'm meaning to say. So here is our um, uh, slope uh, equation, right? Formula that we should be using rise over run. So let's use, let's do a quick example here. Let's say trying to calculate the slope between three, nine and uh, one, five. Okay. So a line passes through these two points. I want to know the slope of that line. Okay. This would be um, an example of a problem. All right. So we got to start someplace, right? We got to subtract the Y's. Okay. So here are the Y's. Okay. These are the Y's. And these guys here are the X's, right? So we say, okay, we got to subtract the Y. So let's uh, subtract 9 minus 5, right? Because that's what this formula is saying. So students go, all right, 9 minus 5, 2, 9 minus 5. That makes sense. No problem. Okay. Then they go, um, all right, now we have to subtract the X's and put that in the denominator. So they got the right idea. They got the right formula, and they write. They have the right idea how to use it. But they write the form. They write the uh, second half of this as one minus three. Now that is wrong. Okay, that is wrong. Why is this incorrect? Okay, well, because we started with our nine here. We used this coordinates information first. Okay, up here, we started with this nine. Okay, this 9 came from this coordinate right there, okay? So 9 minus 5, just like this. Boop. So we wrote that. That's not a problem, okay? However, if we started with the 9 up here in our numerator, we have to start with the 3 down here in our denominator. So when we take the differences of the x's, we have to be consistent. So this needs to be 3 minus 1, okay? 3 minus 1 here is what? That's 2, we had 1 minus 3, that's negative 2, okay? This is a very, very common mistake. I've seen this happen over and over and over again. I'm not going to finish this out. Yeah, let's just do it real quick. Uh, this is 4, right? 9 minus 5 is 4, if my math is right. 3 minus 1 is 2, so the slope is 2. Now, if I would have had these orders, uh, these points reversed, okay, uh, the coordinates plugged in, this would have been a negative 2, right? That would have been a negative 2. My answer would have negative 2. Again, cost students big, uh, you know, a lot of points. Now, imagine this is a multiple choice question. All right, I mean, this again happen. All right, for those of you out there, be paying attention, taking some sort of test, some standardized test, and it's like find the slope of uh, a line that passes through these two points. Guarantee you, because math teachers are just that mean. You're going to have uh, m equals. I'll make up some crazy number. Let's say like uh, one eighth. Uh, m equals 2, uh, m equals negative 1, and m equals negative 2, right? That'll be your choices. And you'll be like, oh, negative 2, I see my answer. Boom, guess what? They just kind of like brought you in. They suckered you in. They're like, yeah, we know you're going to make that mistake. There it is. You select that, guess what? Zero points. You're like, what's going on? How many of you out there have taken a test and felt so awesome about the test, especially like multiple choice tests or anything else. And then you get your results and you got like a 70. You're, you're like, what happened? I felt so good. Get, you got to be really careful. Okay. These tests, especially multiple choice tests, they make you feel good because they know the, they, the people designing these tests, you know, people like myself know the errors you're going to make and we'll make those little errors for you and we'll put in that wrong answer. So you'll recognize your answer, but guess what? It's going to be the wrong one. You got to know this stuff, right? So anyways, pay attention, order points in the formula. If you don't know, if you need more practice and more explanation on this, again, check out my full learning program or some of the other videos on my channel about slope. Okay, so another huge, huge mistake. So we got the formula, in case students get the formula confused, and then they get the order of points. This is a big one. 
All right, so what is the last one? Well, the last one just comes down to just basic simplifying, okay? Then what if I had um, a problem, I'm using integer values, but what if I had like negative one half um, and uh, two, and let's say, uh, let's say three and negative one third, right? So I want to know the slope of a point that goes through these two points here, okay? So now we're like, oh boy, this is like a lot of like, negative stuff, you know, uh, fractions, which people are afraid of. So let's go ahead and find the differences of the y's. So that would be this right here, okay? So let's give ourselves some more room. So we're going to subtract the y's. So we can say, okay, I'll take 2 minus 1 third. So 2, now here's the error is what I'm talking about, minus a negative 1 third. You got to put this in parentheses like this because we're substituting, substituting in for this formula. Okay, y minus y1, x minus x1, okay? So now, because I started with this 2, I've got to start with this negative 1 half down here. When I find the differences of the x, so that would be negative 1 half minus, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 3. Okay, now, I don't want to make this video too long, but here's what I'm talking about. Errors and simplifying numbers. Students get confused with their fractions, their positive negative numbers, they make all kinds of mistakes, uh, and the, you know they go from there. So this is two minus a minus one third. That'll be like what two plus one third over negative one half minus three. So that's going to be what a negative three and one half. So now we're talking about complex fractions, okay? So in other words, um, let's say you end up with a situation like this. Uh, negative two thirds divided by one fourth. You're like, oh, I don't even know what to do with this. Well, a complex fraction, this means, and I'm, I'm not doing the previous problem, I'm just showing you, uh, you know, where students make these mistakes. This means what? Negative two thirds, this means divided by, this means one fourth, okay? So now you got to go and simplify that fraction. That's going to be two thirds times four. 4 over 1, right? We flip this over and we multiply. That's going to be negative 8 thirds, et cetera, et cetera. So it's the number crunching stuff that's, that gets students, all right? So even though they got the, the, the right formula, they put everything in the correct orders, now we got negative numbers and fractions and stuff, and it's just like the basic stuff. But the basic stuff's not so basic. You got to really focus, uh, and that's why writing things out uh, step by step, checking your work, you know, these are the math habits that you want to be creating. If you haven't developed that, if you're sloppy, if you're like going too fast and, you know, you're going to make error after error after error, you know, like what's the point, right? If you're going to learn this stuff, let's learn it right. So these three mistakes, if you can get these three mistakes uh, like handled, your, you know, ability to work with the slope is going to be like, you know, 10x, all right? Because here's the thing, when we're talking about the slope, y equals mx plus b, this is knowing how to find the slope, how to get the slope is huge. You know, we're using, this is the slope intercept formula, but when you have to use the point slope formula, okay, uh, you know, the slope is involved in a lot of things. It's a huge, huge concept. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the slope intercept. This is point slope formula. But you got to know these equations, okay? Because you're going to, in algebra, you're going to have a ton of problems. Like find the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point of 1, 5. Or find the equation of a line that goes to the point 1, 5 and uh, negative 2, 1, 3rd, okay? This is an example. Oh, I got to get the slope. And then I got to, you know, use this formula or this formula to find the equation of line. Big, big chunk of algebra is, you know, related to this. And then this carries on in other subjects. Got just got to know this stuff, right? And uh, the, doing these problems is really, you know, like at the core of them is your ability to get the right slope calculated. Okay, so avoid these three mistakes. And I promise you, your uh, algebra... Uh, or math grades will be going up a big time. And you'll be like, hey, that guy on YouTube really helped me out. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. If you feel like you need more instruction or you want like more of a formal, you know, course 
you know, where you can access all the topics that you're studying, you definitely want to check out my uh, math programs. I would suggest like my pre-algebra, algebra one, or maybe you're in algebra two. I have all those courses. You can just click the link in the description. And uh, again, I'm posting new stuff all the time. So hopefully you consider subscribing and smash that like button. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time and have a great day.